Welcome back, you guys. My name is Legit Lee, and this is going to be part 2.5 for me showing you how to get the 3D printer longer LK5 Pro to be able to work with your Ultimaker Cura. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so I'm using Mozilla Firefox. So what you're going to want to do, because I was having issues when I first got my Cura, my um, Ultimaker, my, not Ulti, well, when I first got the longer LK5 Pro 3D printer, um, it had on an SD card the Cura program already on the card for you to install, and it was 4.8, I believe. Let me just double check here. Oh, wait. No. Okay. So over here, there goes 4.80. So I got that one, and then I wasn't able to find the longer profile for the 3D printer. So I was having a hard time. I even messaged um, the longer company, I believe, because I bought off of Amazon. So I contacted the seller about the issue because I couldn't find the 3D printer program file so uh, well at least not in version 4.0 4.80 and so I was able to finally find it find it so what you're gonna do you're gonna go to Google and then type in Ultimaker Cura as you can see right here And then you're going to put download. And you'll go to powerful, easy to use 3D printer software. And there you have it. And I can show you, I already had it up over here. So I use Windows and I have a 64 bit processor. So I clicked on that one. And this is the newest version of Cura. And as you can see over here, I have it downloaded, is Cura, Ultimaker Cura 5.3.1, Windows 64-bit Axle. So I installed that one, and it's easy. All I got to do, I can just go to Downloads, and you can see right here, you can just double-click on it, and then it will start installing the program, and once it's done, it will pop up and then you'll get this over here not this one exactly but um once you go to um the printer information you can go down to add printer and then you go to on multimaker printer and then you'll go to non network printer you click on that and then you'll scroll down with your mouse wheel if you have one and you'll go all the way down until you see it see right there that's what all I was able to see was leapfrog and lot max when I was when I when you first get the SD card and you install the Cura um, program off of it it'll only have lot leapfrog BV and lot max but the new version of Cura has longer, and you can see it has all the other logger um, 3D printers. We have Logger Cube 2, the LK1, LK1 Plus, LK1 Pro, LK4, LK4 Pro, LK5, LK5 Pro, right here. That's the one that I had installed, and I have it. Once you click on it, let me just show you. You click on it. And you can see right there, and then you just hit add, and then it'll have it up and running. And once you do, let me just zoom out, you will see on the bed surface it says longer on it, which does actually, it is accurate because as you saw in my last video, the 2.0 video, I'm pretty sure you saw the longer um, logo on the heat, heated bed when I was showing you the part that's 3D printing. 
and this is the part that I'm printing that I had designed in Blender. It is a laser head mount and it has a three millimeter hole that is stretched out so that way I can be able to put it into the new laser on the head that I have. And it should um, attach in really well just like the last one that I had brought with um, the 5 watt laser that I got from the proper painting YouTube channel and it works really well I still have it I'm not getting rid of it or anything I just wanted to see if I can do 10 watts or 40 watts to be able to cut through some wood but um so I hope you guys are liking the video and you can see right here that I was able to slice it and it's gonna take two hours and 45 minutes and let me just show you the preview and that is exactly what's printing out right now I probably should have just did a skirt instead of a raft because I don't really need the raft but it doesn't matter because I still got a knife to cut off all the excess filament that I don't need so we have that and if you want to you can go into your settings information you click on let me just there it goes once you click this little arrow down button you can go over here and you see it says raft so if I just click on this arrow again and then I can do skirt there we go and if I hit slice again it'll probably be a lot slow uh, a lot less time because it doesn't have to print out an extra part see now it's now it's only two hours and 18 minutes instead of that uh, 45 minutes so that is the new version and if I go down because we're in preview right now you can see where it's going to be printing at and I always do lines whenever I'm 3D printing just to make sure that the inside is actually nice and secure and sturdy and so if I could just show you that right here so I got it set because I'm using PET so basically like pet filament is what it's called basically and I had the infill density set for 20% but I should probably do 100 for whenever I'm doing this so let me just redo this 100 and it's set for lines and I print with the PET I'm doing 250 mil, um, degrees Celsius for the, the um, extruders hot end and then 68 degrees Celsius for the belt plate or the bed temperature and I print at 60 uh, millimeters a second and then I have retraction enabled so if I just and it's ready set for skirt so now whenever I'm done with all this I'll just hit slice again so that way it'll just do the 100% infill basically which will make sure that it's all um, covered up nice instead of that 20% and it's going to take 7 hours and 43 seconds now or oh, minutes I mean but as you can see the infill is looking pretty well so I may try to print this out when the 20% infill is done I don't really care too much about if it is going to be just 20% just as long as it's strong because I just want to make sure that I can mount my laser to it without it cracking or breaking or anything like that but as you can see we got the longer profile on here I hope you guys are liking the video please like share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and I will be showing you guys more objects that I'm going to be making on my longer 3D printer. And um, also, I just want to make sure you guys are all aware, I'm going to be teaching people how to use Blender to design stuff to 3D print. And there's real world 3D parts. So as you can see, I'm already making a design. I'm making a Lazy Susan to be able to um, to make a um, 
a table basically to print on that I could spin around so that way I can paint using an airbrush without having any real big issues. It will spin around so I'm using it's gonna be a hundred millimeters of a circle and then I need to make because I'm using a skateboard bearing with a bolt that'll fit through there so it's the 608 skateboard bearing and then I'll just be able to um, tap the edge of the um, circle of the 100 millimeter circle and then it will spin around like this and then I'll be able to use my airbrush um, spray gun to paint without actually touching the object so if you guys are interested in learning how to design things in Blender so that way you can get the things and 3D print them out that you would need uh, let me know because I want to tutor people and I'm trying to earn some kind of income because YouTube's never paid me a cent but um I do these videos really just to help out the next person so if I can earn some kind of income teaching people the stuff that I learn or that I, I do know that, and can teach other people to learn what I know I would definitely like to do that so if you guys are interested please leave a comment so that way I can teach you how to do things like this uh, I like anybody that would need to learn or want to learn and I will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching goodbye